Hello gamers! For today's video, I'm going to be scanning the Sanrio amiibos and talking about um, my experience in getting these Sanrio items. Um, as you can see, I have the My Melody outfit on and that's the only amiibo I scanned and I will tell you guys why in just a bit. <laughs> but first we're gonna start heading over to Harv's Island so I can get the items. So a few people have asked me if I've gotten the Sanrio amiibos and technically, yes. Technically, I did get them. I didn't get the official cards. I'm just gonna start off by telling you guys um, how my Sanrio drop experience went. So it started with me waking up at 5 a.m. on Friday. The cards were supposed to drop at 6 a.m. for me, so I woke up early to make sure I would be awake and ready. And then I got on my computer in preparation to buy these cards, I made a Target account. I put in my payment info so I wouldn't have to wait. <laughs> I didn't want to put the items in my cart and then have to fill out all my payment information. So I did that ahead of time so I could check out super fast. So when six finally rolled around, I was prepared, ready. I put them in my cart. I went to go check out and then it said that I couldn't check out, which um, I was shook because <laughs> I checked out in less than a minute. It was probably about 30 seconds. Like I was ready. And they were like, no, you cannot have these Sanrio amiibos. And then I went on Twitter and like everybody was having the same problem, but some people went to Target and got them, which to be honest, I did not know that you weren't supposed to be able to buy them in store. So I was like, Okay, so I guess I have to go to Target. <laughs> so I went to Target at 7. The Target was supposed to open at 7. So I got there before so that I could get these dang amiibos. And then I waited in line because there's other people there waiting for them. And then the Target employee comes out and says, If you're waiting for the Sanrio amiibos, we can't sell them to you. <laughs> Um, and I was very disappointed. So then I went to a different Target and <laughs> they opened at eight. So I waited in line once again for a whole hour because I had just left the other Target. And then we went in and they didn't have them on the shelves like the other Targets did. And then they said that they were for online purchase only, so I didn't get them once again. And then people who stayed home and just kept on clicking checkout eventually got them. So I was annoyed at myself that I just didn't keep trying that, but I have issues. Like I'm kind of impatient, so I don't think I could sit there and do that without getting even more annoyed, but I probably would have gotten them. So, based off my beautiful, wonderful, amazing story, you know that I did not get these Sanrio amiibos. So you may be wondering, where the heck, where the heck? Because if any of you guys have ever bought from Etsy, I could not get these Sanrio amiibos in this short amount of time. And I wouldn't have went through the trouble if I had them in the first place. So, what I did, <laughs> was I looked up a video of how to make my own amiibos and I made them. I bought these cards from Amazon to put the data onto or information, whatever the heck. And then I, <laughs> I just <laughs> made them myself because I'm an independent whammon and I don't need Target and I don't need to have a mental breakdown in Target. I'm better than that. <laughs> So it was very disappointing overall, and I may try to get the official cards eventually, but I don't feel the need to have them right now because I just wanted the items and the villagers. So I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Target is not gonna get me down today. Sometimes you just gotta take matters into your own hands and that's exactly what I did. So I'm also going to kick out um, Weber, unfortunately, but since I can make amiibos now, I made an amiibo for him just in case I ever want him back. And I'm going to invite Etoile because I really want her. I would have been really upset if I couldn't get her because Target's website messed up. 
Like, it's not their fault. But also, I'm really annoyed that each store only carried 72 packs. Like, that is ridiculous to me. And some people got more than two packs, which you weren't supposed to be able to. There's people on Twitter who are like, I got four packs of Amiibos. And I'm like, well, to heck with you. I couldn't get any at all. Probably because they bought them all. And it was it was very disappointing overall. But I don't have to be disappointed anymore. It's okay. Hello, Goral. You're moving in. I'm gonna buy some of the- more of the Sanrio stuff. Unfortunately, I don't have the Nook- the Nook shopping app yet. But anyways, here's all the stuff. As you can see, my amiibos work wonderfully. Um, that's why I only have the My Melody stuff right now. It's because I wanted to test out if they would actually work before scanning all of them. He just gave me a bunny day crown recipe. Oh, the bunny day festivities. <laughs> I'm not excited. I am not excited. Not one bit. I guess I'll learn it. I like the bunny day items, but the holiday is just annoying. Anyways, if you guys listen to my whole story and are considering making your own amiibos, it's really easy, but it cost me like $30 to make or like $35. So it's n probably, it might not be the most practical resolution for everyone, but if you have the means to, honestly, it's more worth, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to you Etsy people, but it's more worth to make them yourself than to buy them from people on Etsy because it will cost you more money to buy them from Etsy than to make them yourself. So if you can make them yourself, Honestly, I'd recommend it. You won't have the cute little pictures or anything, but it will cost less. I understand that people on Etsy have to make these things worth making, but I personally, it's the reason why I decided to make them instead of buying them isn't because I don't want to support people selling things on Etsy. It's just because I don't have the patience. Like, Sometimes it takes like two to three weeks for things to arrive and I'm just not down with it and I know it's not their fault, but I can't wait. <laughs> I cannot. I physically do not have it in me to wait that long. Oh no, no. Zipper sent me, oh God. Zipper sent me a letter, but what's inside? What is inside? Water eggs? Why do you send me so many water eggs? I didn't even read it. I just don't care. God, my island is a hot mess. Don't look, don't look at it, please. Anyways, um, I just wanted to show you guys something cool I noticed about the Sanrio items. Okay, so when you put on the Sanrio items, it sounds different. It makes a different sound. Listen to when I put on these. And then these. I thought that I was having like a sound glitch at first, but I realized it was just when you put on the Sanrio items, so don't freak out. <laughs> Look how cute! I don't have any outfits registered, but I look very cute. Julian is flexing for label. Ooh, get it. Ooh, she don't care. She don't even care. I always want to call her LaBelle, but she changed her name. Oh my gosh, I didn't even- <laughs> I went to go to my campsite and Etoile isn't even there. I didn't invite her. I was too busy looking at Julian Flex for label. Also, sorry if I sound nasty. I'm pretty sure I'm sick. This is the last day of inviting her to my campsite, and then she's gonna be on my island. I'm so excited. I have the last item for her. She's gonna move in. Okay, I'm going to kick out Weber instead of Billy because I'm just gonna kick out Billy the normal way. And I'm gonna look for Murphy after I kick out Billy. I'm gonna skip to the next day to see her house. I wanna see the inside of her house, but. She's not going to have any stuff in there. Okay, let's see. Oh, she's not even going to move in today. 
I guess that makes sense. I just voided Weber. That's a yikes. But we're gonna get to see the first day of cherry blossom season. And I'm not gonna skip to the second because that's my birthday and I don't wanna trigger the birthday event. I love it. It's so pink. Like her light is so dim that it makes her whole house look like slightly pink. I wish she had a brighter light in here because the pink is a little much in my opinion. But I still think it's really cute. I don't know what the furniture looks like and I don't, I'm not gonna skip to the next day. So I guess I'll just have to wait and see. If you guys like this video and my tragic Target story, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.